What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod and Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going through something very, very special. As you guys know, we are coming up on SDCC season, San Diego Comic-Con season, where we're going to be getting all of our brand new WWE action figure reveals, right? All of the things are going to come true. We're going to see all the figures we're going to be getting coming into this year, and it's going to be excellent. Coming into the, the end of this year, into the fall, on into 2021, early 2021, it's a very exciting time. This is the best time to be a WWE action figure collector, to be honest with you, because we're going to get all these awesome reveals and stuff. And actually, today, if you're watching this in the morning time, in a few hours, I think it's like five or six hours from now, we are going to be getting some exclusive news. So we're going to find out what the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive is. Pulling it up on your screen here, you guys can see it is a first time in the line. And I know a bunch of people have already talked about this across the platform, but I did want to get on here and mention this that they are going to reveal this. It's the first time in the line. It says, which WWE superstar first time in the line elite figure is debuting at hashtag Comic-Con at home, come back Monday, June 22nd, and find out. And then they obviously leaked out the little camo picture as well. So we have two different photos here talking about, you know, a new exclusive coming out. I've heard some things on the rumor mill, but we're going to find out if those came true or not, and I guess we will just have to see you know, what they actually unveil to us on today. So I will be coming back to YouTube and letting you guys know exactly what we get. But let's get into the figures that we're going to get at Comic-Con. I still think that we're a little ways away. I don't think they're going to unveil anything else that's new today. But if they do, I will put it up to you guys. But I do know we are getting the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive revealed to us today. And I will definitely put that up to you guys and show it off to you. But getting in here, what I expect to see at San Diego Comic-Con 2020 or Comic-Con at home, as they're calling it, where they're just going to go live over the airwaves and, you know, little live streams and uploaded pictures and videos onto different platforms and social media stuff. So I'm going to be plugged in. I'm going to be ready to go. I will be sure to save all the images, but I think that we are definitely going to be seeing Elite Series 78 in the flesh. I think we're going to see it. You guys know what this wave includes. It's got Kofi Kingston in it. It's got R-Truth in it. It's got Drake Maverick. It has Naomi. It's got Randy Orton, and I think it also has superstar Billy Graham. So this is a pretty solid wave. I like the way all of these figures look. I think it's a great wave all the way through, and I can't wait for it. I think the I think the Kofi Kingston is probably the most underrated in the set. It's getting slept on, man. That attire is beautiful. I like the head scan, the pink sleeves. That's a damn good Kofi Kingston. I think that looks beautiful, and I can't wait to fully get our New Day complete there with that figure, but our truth looks good. 24-7 championship, and then Drake Maverick, obviously, first time in the line, or not first time in the line, first elite figure for him. We obviously have two basics of him now. But he is uh, not alone. We got Naomi. And then uh, I, I think this is a good set. So definitely expect to see Elite Series 78. I don't think we'll see proto... Uh, we may see prototypes, but we will see an actual figure. We're not going to see render images of those. We will see hardcore figures, and it's going to be great. Another figure that I think we could see is that Sasha Banks figure that we got a render of so long ago. It was supposedly going to be a ringside exclusive, but I think they ditched that idea. And I don't know where it's going to show back up, like what wave that's going to show back up in. But we are going to be seeing that. That's what I feel. Hopefully they'll have at least a prototype of this. I'm excited for that. You know, it's definitely going to be a lot better than any other Sasha we've gotten. And it is a new women's figure, so it's going to have double jointed knees and stuff. That should be a really good one. Some more figures that I think we will see in the flesh, guys, including the Ultimate Warrior, the Legends line Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake Roberts with the variant there. You got Eddie Guerrero, which I think will also be there. So that whole Legends line right there, Paul Orndorff, Eddie Guerrero, Jake the Snake, and Ultimate Warrior. I think all of those are part of the Legends series. I think we will see prototypes of those. Hopefully we get to see some, some actual prototypes of these guys and not just render images. They typically at Comic-Con, they don't show us renders of things unless they come with certain accessories, like new accessories. So what they're probably going to do is show off actual prototypes of a lot of stuff, and then they'll have renders of stuff that is coming like way down the line, like very late this year, early 2021. And that's what I expect out of this Legends line. They should at least have the prototypes up and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that Eddie Guerrero looks in person. But some more prototypes that I think we will see at San Diego Comic-Con, guys, is the Decade of Dominant Series number 2. Now, I'm not referring to Series 1. Series 1 was Undertaker, Mark Henry, Natalia, Randy Orton, and John Cena, I do believe. But I'm talking about Series 2 with Beth Phoenix, Triple H, Kane, Big Show. I think that wave right there is going to be pretty good. And Kofi Kingston, that's the last one. I think that we will see full-fledged figures of these as well. Full plastic form standing there. I don't think it's going to be render images. I don't think it's going to be anything like that. We're going to actually see the 
these figures. So any older render images, you can kind of translate into figures that should be prototypes by the time we reach San Diego Comic-Con and the actual event itself and them showing it off. This Kane figure looks so beautiful in the Decade of Dominance. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be probably one of the best Kanes. You got the interchangeable, you know, burned face where he unveiled his mask for, or he took off his mask for the first time. You have the bald-headed, so you have a two-in-one cane right there. I got to get at least two of these, possibly a third if you want to do like a head swap and get, you know, the mask on there. I, I kind of want to get a mast head sculpt, like sculpted, instead of using the, you know, the, the mask that goes over the head sculpt itself. We'll have to see about that one, but that is a, a wave that I'm really, really looking forward to. I think a couple other figures that we could see. Now, this one's a stretch, maybe a prototype of these two, but I think we will see prototypes of the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Fiend figure. You guys know we got on here and discussed the news about the Ultimate Editions. This is probably the most sought-after Ultimate Edition set ever with Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Fiend. So I think that both of these guys, I think they'll be in full solid color. We'll probably see full red figures of these with the details and stuff, but it won't be painted. It'll have probably, you know, a few things wrong with it. Or, or maybe some interchangeable hands on display, but it'll be one solid color. It won't have all of the details with it, but maybe we'll get a prototype with the butterfly joints on the Hulk Hogan and the good-looking stuff with the head sculpt, and I think that'd be pretty cool. I think, I think that it's safe to say that we'll at least get a prototype of it. Maybe not painted, but... I, I just want to see these in the flesh. I really want to see what we're getting out of these things, so I think that is safe to say. And they may have full render colored images of these when they get to the render. So we'll have the prototype on display that's not colored at all. It'll be one solid color. And then on the renders, when they go to the slideshow or whatever, I think we'll actually see a fully rendered image with all of the accessories that these guys are going to come with. So hopefully that happens for The Fiend and Hulk Hogan, and we'll have to see, but that is something I do expect. Coming up, I think another figure set that we could see is Ultimate Edition Series 6 in The Rock and Charlotte Flair. I think both of these figures will also be on display. You got plenty of accessories with these. I think these look so great. The interchangeable head sculpts look great. I think they look fantastic. We'll probably get a beautiful cloth robe that comes with Charlotte. And then, of course, the rock does come with the WWF Championship and a t-shirt, microphone, sunglasses, three interchangeable heads. ton of stuff come with that rock. It's, it's going to be one of the better rock figures. And um, it, it, it's beautiful. I can't wait for that rock. I think it's the best rock probably to this date, especially of this era with the red and silver tights man that is beautiful i think it's from survivor series i do believe could be wrong about that looks beautiful nonetheless and i do expect both of these figures to be fully fledged plastic form fully ready to go it may be a prototype but they will be very very close to finished if not finished already so i think those are pretty prominent there more figures i expect to see guys are some of these elite sets you know those elite sets that we talked about we got on the screen and we talked about some of these leaks i think that we will see render images of most of this stuff the stuff that you know we got leaked on the little uh, the the spreadsheets you know with all the upc codes and the the listings of new figures coming soon i think that is pretty much what you can expect to see so any stuff that's been leaked you know the basic ricochet and rhea ripley and humberto Carrillo and the, the, the battle packs with Reigns and Balor and the Wreck and Feature playset, all of that kind of stuff, I expect to see render images of or more details on. So hopefully that will be the case, especially with some of these elites coming up. We have the Elite 2-pack Goldberg and Bret the Hitman Hart. I expect to see a render image of that figure. You know we talked about it with the Bret Hart coming with the steel plate under the jersey. It'll probably come with a cloth t-shirt or something like that. You have the Elite Kofi Kingston, Elite Roman Reigns, and the Top Picks wave. I expect to see some render images of some of those guys. Elite Triple H, Elite Keith Lee, a new Elite Finn Balor. On top of that, we also have Elites like The Rock and Shinsuke Nakamura. So I think all of these figures that we're seeing in the listings will probably, it, it's kind of like a transition. So the figures that you see in the renders from long ago will be prototypes. And then you have the figures that were on listings or leaked listings and stuff like that in upcoming lineup waves. Those will probably be in the render images. So we got a ton of stuff, man. There's so much stuff that's been leaked. Like if you counted all the new figures in this video from the stuff we have not seen in full-fledged person yet and you're just counting off the listings and the the render images that we have not fully had in hand yet it's so much stuff bro it's it's a ton of stuff and i think the more we get deeper into you know into collecting a mattel continues to get better and their processes continue to get better and stuff like that i feel like the more and more stuff that we're going to be getting and i think this comic-con reveal will be the best comic-con reveal that we've ever had i really truly believe that and i think we're going to get some really epic stuff and another series that we really can't forget about is that new survivor series elite wave that we talked about we could see some uh, render images of those guys the the four pack 
that include not a four pack, but four in the series that will be Walmart exclusive. You have Drew McIntyre, Kane, John Morrison, Samoa Joe. We discuss all of these figures. If you guys want to know my full thoughts on these, all of them are flashbacks because uh, obviously you got 2019 Drew McIntyre, early 2000s Kane, John Morrison could be from uh, 2010 or so, and then Samoa Joe will probably be from 2018. So all four of those will look beautiful. I'm fine with all four of those in the set. Just a ton of stuff coming forth. And then we already know what we're getting in 70, uh, at least 79 and 80 with the Undisputed Era. We have uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly coming up. We got the Viking Raiders coming up. And we have uh, a new Bailey coming. We have so many things that are coming soon that I think uh, we, we're going to get render images of at least at Comic-Con, and hopefully they, they showcase all that stuff to us. I hope that we fully get everything that we're wanting here. And I feel like I'm missing something. There's like something I'm missing in here, man. I, I swear to God, oh yeah, I wanted to top things off here at the end. And I feel like on top of all the basics we're going to be getting, all those different listings that we're getting that we've covered many times with all the battle packs and the basics and stuff like that, on top of all those first time in the lines and stuff, you cannot forget about the other side of the pond, guys. We still have AEW and Jazzwares to worry about. I know they're going to be showcasing a ton of new AEW products they have coming. I know that we had early prototype images of all the new figures that we're getting soon in the fall. But you got to think that those figures are going to be slightly improved. They're probably going to be high, more detailed, better paint, stuff like that, because those were early prototype images. We're talking about back in February that we saw those figures. Now we're talking months later. They're going to have better images of those. They're going to look a lot better, and I think we're going to get more upcoming waves, guys. So hopefully we see some some Luchasaurus, some Jungle Boy, probably Joey Janela, some, some updated stuff. I expect to see a, a prototype, at least, of the ringside exclusive ring and the Kenny Omega figure that's coming with it. The Chris Jericho ringside exclusive will also be a figure that we see. So on top of all the wrestling figures that we're going to be getting from WWE, you got to include all of the AEW figures that we're going to be getting because it's so much, man. I mean, there's so much. Um, I mean, Elite 78, Elite 79, Elite 80, possibly Elite 81. You got the Ultimate Edition Series 6 with Rock and Charlotte. You got Series 7 with Hogan and Ultimate Fiend. You got all the new battle packs and basics that we've covered. You got the Walmart exclusive lines. You got all the ringside exclusive lines. And you have all of your AEW figures. I mean, there's, there's so much stuff, man. It's kind of overwhelming. That's why I feel like this year is going to be the best year ever. And you got today's release, which will be the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that we're going to be getting today revealed. And I will put that up later to you guys. So stay tuned for that video here today. Turn on your notification bell so that you will find out exactly what figure we are getting for our San Diego Comic-Con exclusive this year. You guys remember last year it was Slim Jim, Macho Man, Randy Savage. So this year it'll probably be, it's definitely a flashback figure as you guys saw from the little hint. But um, I'm excited to find out what it is. I have an idea of what it is, but I don't want to spoil it just in case. So I'm going to wait until, you know, it is revealed and I'll tell you guys if I knew it or not. But that's going to do it for all the figures we should be seeing at Comic-Con. Again, I could be wrong about some of this. This is just based off of past Comic-Cons, what we've gotten, what I expect moving forward from other Comic-Cons, some things I've heard, some things I've seen around the community, and I just wanted to put it up to you guys so you guys can kind of have an idea of what we're expecting or what we could get, and I could be wrong, you know, I, I think that an Orange Cassidy from AEW is also probably going to be revealed to us this year at Comic-Con, but I don't know what the exact Comic-Con date is. I think July 22nd was supposed to be the actual, you know, San Diego Comic-Con event, but that might have been moved up due to the Comic-Con at home and, you know, the pandemic and everything shutting down Comic-Con. So we'll just have to see, man. We'll have to see what goes down, and I will put it all up to you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much. Stay tuned for later today with the exclusive coming. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. What do you hope to see at San Diego Comic-Con? Let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.